ZO1 is a container. It's a container of 45 different business applications. You will need to add applications to this container. If you will click on add applications, you will see the different applications that ZO has to offer you. Please start with ZO CRM. Do not add more than ZO CRM. You will get overwhelmed, you will click around, and it will confuse you. So please start with ZO CRM, click on the checkbox, and click on add applications. ZO CRM was set up for us. And now if I will go, I will click here on user home. I can see all the applications that are available for me, the application that I set up. And as you can see, there is only one application, ZO CRM. Now, if you like to add more applications, you can always go to the admin panel and then you will need to click on applications. Once you click on applications, on the right top, you will see a button, add application. And if you will click on it, you will see the same page that we started from, the, the page that we can add more applications to our ZO1. Just to have a test here, I want you to click on notebook, which is a great application that can help you manage different notes, notes, pictures, videos, uh, uh, voice memos, please click on add and then click on OK. Now, if you will go again to user home, you will be able to see CRM and notebook. Right now, you will have two different applications. Another option is to go to admin panel and add more users. If you have more team members or more people that's supposed to be part of your organization, you will need to click on users and then click on add user. Once you click on add user, you're supposed to provide the first name, last name and email address. The section below is related to ZO people and ZO people is one of the ZO applications that will help you manage manpower. For example, attendance, manage vacations, uh, yearly or quarterly reviews, and so on and so on. At that point, we are not going to deal with ZOO people. We will have it as one of the applications later on in the process. But for now, we are going to ignore the company information process and we are just going to click on Add. That's it. Once we click on add, you will see that the process is over, the user has been successfully added, and the user will get an email that requires him to log in and accept your invitation. Once you have the user, you can see that the user has no applications. If I will click on myself, I can see here that I have two different applications. I have ZO CRM and I have also ZO Notebook. If I will click on Joe Bob, you can see that there are no applications available for him. In that case, I will need to click on the plus button. And then I will need to select the applications that I like Joe to see. In this case, I will assign only ZO CRM for Joe. You can see your role and profile. We are not going to talk about it right now. And I want you to select manager and standard. Those will be the role and the profile that I want you to select for Joe. Whenever you're done, please click on done. And now click on assign. If I will go to Joe, you will see that Joe has one application which is ZO CRM, and Lee, which is myself, I have two different applications. On the left side, you can see lots of different options that ZO1 has to offer us. This is a very basic course and I don't want to overwhelm you. Please, don't try to click around too much. You don't need more than what I just showed you to start using ZO1. At that point, you are ready to go. 
Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next lesson.